Well, in the past around the house, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect together these two lengths of cable using this Wago Box 221 junction box and these Wago 221 connectors. So before we get started, I'll quickly show you the Wago Box junction box. Now, this one is specifically designed for the 221 connectors, which are these. Today, I'm going to be using the two terminal connector, which just means that it can accept two wires. They also make these with three terminals and five terminals. If you look inside the junction box, you've got these different sections. This will accept three of the double connectors in each section, as you can see there. If you've got the three terminal connectors, it will accept two. So that would be six three terminal connectors in total, or nine two terminal connectors. If you look here, you've got two black cable grippers. Now these can be repositioned for different size cable. If you're using 2.5 millimeter cable or larger, then you want it in what they call the offset position, which is by there. If you're using something like one millimeter cable, which is smaller, then you want to place it by here. That's got a smaller gap and will grip the smaller cable. Something else to show you before we get going is this little plastic toggle. Now with this, you put a screw through there, screw this into a joist. It leaves a little gap behind it. And then when you've done all your wiring and connections inside this box, you can close the box and you just slide that straight over this toggle on the joist and leave it nicely under the floorboards. And on this box, you've also got a little hole there and a corresponding one on the lid. And that's so when you've finished your wiring, you can clamp the lid down place a cable tie through these holes, tighten it up, and that means this can then be left under the floorboards and used as a maintenance-free junction box. And a maintenance-free junction box is simply one that can be left in an inaccessible area. The box does come with instructions, which I'll show you here. And if you wanna use these, you can pause the video and make reference to these in the future, but hopefully I'm gonna show you how to use it now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut this down to size. Now using my CK automatic wire strippers, I'm going to strip the grey sheath on both cables. And just to point out, I will put links to all the tools and products used in this video in the description section below. Now you want to strip this to about 60 to 80 centimetres, and that is so that it can fit in this box like that with the connectors in these grooves. Now you may have noticed here that we've got two different colors of wiring and that's because this is an old cable and this one is a new one. So on the new cable, you've got brown is live, blue is neutral and the bear is earth. And on the old cable, the red is live, the black is neutral and again, the bear is earth. Now with these connectors, as you can see there, it does actually say you've got to strip the wire to 11 millimeters. And you can see that it's got a little arrow there for the length it needs to be with the number 11. So again, I'm gonna take my automatic wire strippers I'm going to strip that back like that. Do the same with the other cable. Then the way these work is very simple. You just pull the levers up like that. Now we place the live on the one cable into the connector like that. Then we place the brown live from the other cable and place it into the same connector. So that has now connected the two live wires together. I take another connector. This time I'm gonna place the neutral from the one cable, which is black. And I'm gonna place that with the blue neutral from the other cable. With the earth wire, we need to get some earth sheath like this. I place that over the top, right the way down then fold it over to give me the length of the wire. And then I go 11 millimeters down roughly, slide it back up like that, cut it. And if I place that over the top, I've now got my bare wire exposed. Now I do the same to the other earth wire. Now we take another Wago connector like that place the wire inside and I place the other earth wire in the other side, clip them down. Now that is all connected. So now you can take your cables and connectors 
place the connectors into the groove. I'm just going to place all mine in the same one. You can see now that the cable with the grey outer sheath can sit between there. Then I'm going to get one of my grippers. I'm going to put it in the offset position as mentioned earlier. As you can see with a bit of to and fro in and pushing, I just use my pliers to push that into place. That has now gripped that sheath tightly into this plastic so that if this cable is ever pulled in the future, it's pulling on the gray outer sheath, not on these wires here. So with that all in place, we can now clip the box closed. And now I'll work out the location I want to put the box on the joist. So by placing this under the floorboard like this, so now I know where I want that little toggle to go. I'm going to screw that into the joist. So first of all, I'll take the box back out. I'll remove this little toggle. So I've got a small screw. I'm going to place that through there and screw that to the joist. So I'm going to have a go with the impact driver. Now, apologies for the view. The camera's wedged in the corner. We've not got much room, so hopefully you can see this. So you can see I did that with the impact driver, finished it off with a handheld screwdriver. Hopefully this will slide over the top. So as you can see there, I've put that too high and now I haven't got room to get that up and over underneath that floorboard. So I'm gonna take that out and do it again. Try again. There we go. So with that slotted over there, that'll slide down. And that is now securely into place. The only one thing left to do would be to put a cable tie through there, tighten it up, snip it down to length, and then that will be good to go as a maintenance free junction box to be left under the floorboards. I'm not going to put the cable tie through today only because I'm in the middle of a job and I may need access to this in the next few days. And there's a closer look at the junction box fitted into place. Now, if you've got a better way of doing this, please let me know in the comments section below as it not only helps me, but everyone else watching the video. If you have enjoyed the video, can you please give it a like? And if you haven't done so already, can you please subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon for regular notifications? I've been Pouse Around the House. Ta-ta, farewell.